Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP DW3033DX model. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can increase the capacity of the storage on this one and what are the options that you have and show you the inside a bit. And this one, they do get shipped out with a 256 gig uh, version, but you can get 500, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and what are the maximum capacity uh, uh, storage space that you can put in here. All right, before we do anything, just remember once you remove the SSDs in here or the storage unit, you will not have any operating system and you will not have any files in here. So back up your files that you need and I made another video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in a video description so you guys can create and install your own Windows. I made another Windows how to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a HP laptop. You can, the proper way you can follow that link again if you want to install it if you don't know how to. So we, in this video I'm just going to show you guys how to open it up and how you replace the hard drive. First thing first you want to power up the laptop, obviously back up your files. You're going to be using the tool, the screwdriver set, I fix it screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. These are an S2 class of steel, they're really tough in the steel. If you don't get it, if you get a pro set, you get an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, we're gonna be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. On the bottom of cover here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of those two screws in here in the front end. These are the short ones, and there's a five long screws, one on the front end of the on the front cover here, and four on the back rubber cover. To remove the uh, rubber cover, you want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool on the bottom cover right here. And uh, you want to just lift it up and you want to bring it up in a 45 degree angle just like that and pull it up. Do not yank it this way, otherwise you're going to crack the plastic. Bring it up just like this and put it just on the side. Same thing on the back side. Put the opening tool right there and lift it up and place it on the side. Now go ahead and remove the two front screws first and keep them in one pile as these are the short screws. All right, and now we're gonna remove the long screws uh, and keep them in different piles. Also, if you like my videos and you wanna support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will help and motivate me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. And there we have the long screws. All right, now once we remove the screws, now we're going to open up the laptop a little bit. And we're going to put the guitar pick between the bottom cover, palm rest, and the bottom cover right there. And we're going to twist it backward. And we're gonna do this all around in the front end and you wanna hear big clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You wanna do that all the way to the front corners, to the sides and all the way to the back corner. You wanna hear those clicking, otherwise it's not gonna open. Go to the back corner and do the left and the right side. Let's stick it right there and open it up. right there. Now we're going to close it down and we're going to lift it up and put it to one side. And there we have the bottom uh, cover removed. And down here I see a big hole is empty space in here which is right in here. That means this one is upgradable to a mechanical drive. They don't include you with a caddy. There should be a caddy. is a bracket that holds the hard drive in place. But if you put an extra SSD drive in here, just like this one, you will not need any bracket. You can just kind of remove this sponge and glue it right in there with a the hot glue. Uh, but you do need an adapter in here. Adapters look like this. And I'll try to get a link for this one that you can purchase and put it right there. It shouldn't be this one. This one is not for, it's for a backlight, I'm guessing. This is for a backlight keyboard. For the hard drive is this one over here 
and so that means the cable has to be coming through here has to be a longer cable they are this sell this ones with a 10 centimeters cable it goes right in here and comes out and goes right in the adapter right in here but they don't give you the bracket and you need to make a space for this one in here so it would be something like this no has to be a this way right here it fits perfectly right in there but you need a longer cable to go through here i'll leave the link for adapters for this one if you guys need to that's a little modification but for now the ssd is right over here to remove the ssd you do not need to remove the battery at all to do this but if you want to be paranoid and you want to remove the battery there's one two three four screws and then battery will just come out just pull it up but i'm to remove this ssd all you need to do to unscrew it from here remove this screw and the ssd will come out in 45 degree angle all you need to do is pull it out in the same 45 degree angle all right this is an nvme pci express lane so these are 256 gig chip brand uh, ssd well, it has only it doesn't have any DRAM chip it's just all empty there's nothing in here see the whole board is empty and there's only one storage unit right here so it's direct storage there's no DRAM on it so I'll leave the link for some of the good brand SSDs that are not expensive but they're really reliable like the Samsung Pro one one terabyte you can put up to four terabyte SSDs NVMe which is fine you have a DRAM chip or in this case, my client purchased his own 256 gig, gig in Kingston, which is not that great, but it's better than this garbage right here. So we're gonna install this one right in here. You get the new SSD right here. You wanna make sure the notch right in here matches the notch right in there. So you wanna bring it down in 10, 15 degree. You wanna push it all the way inside and bring it down towards the motherboard. Right, you want to put the screw right at the top of it to hold it in place, just like that. And that's how you place the SSD right in there. All right, now that we have the SSD in here, all you need to do is to put the battery back in if you have removed it. If you remove the battery and you put it back in when you power on, it might take up to 5 to 10 seconds before it does a memory check. And then it's just going to boot up and tell you there is no operating system. So here, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna push down the sides in, put it right on top, squeeze down the corners, make sure you don't be clicks. And what you need to do here to open it up, and you see these kind of gaps right here, if it's gonna focus, and you wanna pinch them together, so it just locks in place. Do this to all the way to the side, to the back corner. And one last thing down here would be to just grab the screws, the long screws goes at the, under the rubber cover right there and the short ones goes in the front end of the laptop i'm gonna power on and i'm gonna show you guys that it's working so for those people that are really paranoid for removing the battery this and that so i'm gonna do a quick boot up so you guys can see let me just finish putting up these screws let's put this Rubber cover right on top. Now we're gonna power. We're gonna open it up. Connect the charger. And we're gonna put our Windows 10 or Windows 11, whichever you have, in a USB port. And once we turn on, we're gonna tap on Escape. So I'm powering it on. I'm gonna keep tapping on Escape. And uh, there's a menu that shows up in here. Uh, you guys can't see from this menu. It says F1 system, F2 system diagnostic, F9 boot menu. So we're going to choose F9. And from here, we're going to choose our Kingston uh, USB. This is a Kingston USB, or you're going to choose your own USB that you have inserted. And after that, it's just going to read that USB. And it's going to take you on an installation menu for the Windows. I'll leave the link to, uh, on how you properly supposed to install the window the proper way so you can follow that so it's really simple within five minutes you'll be in the desktop and ready to go as always i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click that like and subscribe 
If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.